another delicious day here in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen, and today we're making some cheesy appetizer crackers. These are really easy. They have just a few ingredients for you, and you need to start with eight ounces of a good quality sharp cheddar. Extra sharp cheddar is even better for flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and get this shredding. Um, you'll need to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. You'll need a couple of baking sheets, and um, you can either spray them down or use parchment paper. It's up to you on how you wanna go about that. Um, but go ahead and shred up all eight ounces. And um, as I always say, if you've been watching me, you know, I'm gonna tell you not to use prepackaged shredded cheese. And the reason for that is the um, anti-caking agents that they put in there. When you're baking with those cheeses, it just doesn't hold together as well as if you grate it yourself. So it's worth the time to do it yourself. One of the tricks that I'm doing here while I shred my cheese is I'm doing it on the parchment paper so that when I pick it up to put it in the bowl, it's just quick and easy rather than trying to scrape it off my cutting board. I don't know why I didn't start doing that sooner. All right, cheese is shredded. I am going to take my two cups of unbleached flour and pop it right in my bowl. And then I'm gonna take my cheese and do the same thing. And then I can reuse my parchment paper right on my baking sheet. So that's done. I have um, one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of my um, homegrown, home-dried thyme. I'll put a link down below on how to dry that yourself. Um, and you can use rosemary, you can use garlic, you can use all kinds of things to flavor your crackers. It's really up to you on what kind of flavor you like. And if you don't think that one teaspoon is enough, we'll go ahead and add some more. It's up to you, okay? Now I have one cup of softened room temperature butter. And um, I'm gonna put this right on in here. Of course, it's my favorite. All right, there we go. Now, you can do this by hand, you can do it with a fork, but you are just going to combine all of your ingredients until they are thoroughly mixed. And then we get to making some balls to put on our baking sheets. And they only bake for like 10 to 12 minutes. It's quick, it's easy. It's a great appetizer to put out for your parties, which is what I'm doing. This is going for my delayed Christmas party. These are great for all kinds of gatherings. Potlucks, Christmas parties, Thanksgiving, birthday parties. Um, anything you wanna make crackers for, they're great. I'm putting some gloves on and you of course don't have to do this. Um, but I choose to because it's just easier for cleanup. Okay. <clears throat> now that I've got it pretty close to blended and that butter's smashed in there, I guess, I'm going to scrape off the fork and start using my hands. I wanna just get this into the shape of a squished loose ball so that it gets the rest of that flour. And you could just start with your hands if you want. It's up to you. Whatever you want. Um, and then you're going to start making one inch balls once you are confident that it's well mixed. And you can do that by just kind of guessing. Try to get them even so they cook evenly. And they're not, this isn't something that is going to stick together. You can see it's kind of crumbly and it's good. That's fine. That's how it should be until you make your ball because you're going to compress it into your ball like so. It's not very round, but it's still a ball. I'm not trying to play soccer with it. Um, and you want to place them about two inches apart on your baking sheets. And this recipe makes mm, 40, 45, depending on how big you end up making all your balls. So you can also use one of these if you want to get more precise with your sh um, size. Okay, I'm just gonna get all these rolled up and then I'll see you back here. All right, we're ready to move on. I have my fork still and we're just going to lightly press them down. You can use a spoon or whatever shape you wanna put them in there. This kind of reminds me of peanut butter cookies. Oh, maybe we should make those soon, that sounds yummy. But made those in a long time. Growing up, that was always my favorite cookie. Peanut butter cookies. You'll wanna do this carefully because they will crumble apart if you're not careful. But if they do, just ball them back up and do it again. It's not the end of the world. All right, we're not quite ready to bake. We're gonna put these in the fridge for about a half an hour. Now you can do this before you ball them up, um, but let it sit longer because the ball is gonna be 
bigger. Your dough ball will be bigger. So then you'll need probably an hour in the fridge. So I made them, they're gonna go in the fridge for a half an hour. Then when I take them out, I'm gonna pop them right into the oven and that's so that they don't spread too much because if the dough is warm, um, when you bake them, they're just gonna spread into a gooey mess. But if they're cold when you pop them in, they'll bake up and they should hold together better. Um, so don't skip that chilling step. The crackers have chilled. I am ready to stick them right into the oven. So I'm gonna make this quick because I don't want them to warm up at all until they hop into the oven. So 10 to 12 minutes, just keep an eye on them. My cheesy appetizer crackers are done. I'm just gonna grab a little one here and break it open. Mm. These are so good. Mm. A wonderful snack and the time that's in there gives it a nice herby flavor to go with that sharp cheese and it's delightful they're soft and chewy and this will be so nice with I don't know meatballs a meat tray a cheese tray lots of options whatever you're making these for I hope they turn out beautifully from my kitchen to yours let's make food from food that's one boy puppy, puppy.